What's up, I made a this myself build vlog. I'm not a builder, I don't have a trade, I just have a go. Today is the 31st of July, and on this episode, we are desperately trying to finish the insulation and then get cracking on the plasterboard. Tony was on crew today. We quickly whacked this up, that bottom row, and this bottom row here. Because it's a little bit dark, I'm just gonna chop these out so you'll get to see a quick time lapse of me and Tony putting one side up then I'll cut this out quickly. Right, it's just turned nine o'clock in the evening. Uh, I need to carry on because, like I said, we're in, we're desperately trying to do this. The reason why I'm desperately trying to do it, Tony helped me lump up the 25 mil insulation earlier and all of the plasterboard. Because I can't really do it by myself, that's the issue. Um, we're almost at the point where I can carry on by myself, but not quite there. And Tony can only help like sometimes on weekends and uh, Dan's back at work now, so I don't know whether he'll, he'll be able to help me out. When me and Tony done this, we basically lined it up. He held it at the top, I was at the bottom. We put clout nails in, so we used the 38 mil ones that I had for the roof. And then we just go top, bottom, then we line it, and then we put one in the middle as well. So that basically holds that board in place until it comes to the point where we put the plasterboard on. Make sure you mark out exactly where your rafters are, that's why we've lined it all. Most of them are clout nails. Over here, around the window, um, I've used these. So these are tile backerboard washers. Um, so yeah, it's good to pull the plaster, but, well, pull the actual insulation in, like here. Over here, this side, we didn't line up the edges with the rafters, so it's a bit off, but I'll just take that and it won't be an issue. So why am I not using insulated plasterboard, you may ask. The reason why is because there's extended lead times on that kind of stuff and it's super expensive and this is a cheap way of doing it. Plus, we get the opportunity to effectively have a double vapor barrier. So this will be the vapor barrier here, I've already got a vapor barrier there. What, if you do the insulated plasterboard, your edges, obviously you can't take that because the plasterboard's there. Now I'm gonna cover this up. So we've planned out exactly where everything's going. We've got down lights and we've also got sockets going up here as well because of the uh, infrareds uh, heating panels. Now, Obviously you cover it up, you don't know where anything is, so we'll always try and make sure we go, right, okay, this is where this is, and we'll write stuff like either on insulation or on the plasterboard. Just to make it a little bit easier, I don't know if you can see that. So that curly one there, I'm doing that for the light bulbs. And then just the standard wrapped up bit, that's for the socket. So yeah, it's just easier when you come to do your holes and then there's a loads of wires above it and then you know which ones you need to grab. 
I'm just gonna mark out where all these collar ties are slash ceiling joists. Get yourself loads of felt tips if you're doing this. I've got to cut each side at a 45. So I'm using my circular saw. I've turned the blade backwards and then um, hopefully it won't kick up as much dust like it just tried to on the windows. Tony's back tomorrow. That's the only day that I've then got him. So we're gonna try and finish the installation and then we're gonna start plasterboarding. Just a quick tip if you're doing this, See, that's nice. It doesn't throw up too much dust. I don't know whether turning the blade backwards actually makes a difference or not. Make sure you do it on the deepest that you possibly can. This cuts about 28 mil deep. And whilst you do have markers, if you're cutting on a 45, that's there. It's really hard to follow the line because the dust kicks out. So if you draw a line from this edge here, like I have here, when you follow it down, it's easier. The cut will end up being over here somewhere. See you tomorrow. We're back in the morning, it's nine o'clock. We've had our, well, I've had my breakfast. We've had our tea, We've done a little bit of faffing already. Oats. Tony Tony's had his oats. I've dropped the kids off at the pole, emptied out the pigeons and pigeons eggs of the barn. Um, we're all sorted. Tony's quickly taping a few little bits. Um, let me show you something quickly. Now here is a gap and I've shoved it with draft excluder just because it's a little bit. So I've put loads in. There was one bit there, one bit there, one bit there. The reason why there's a gap there is because the delivery driver used grey ridges. When he pulled up, he said, how do you want to get this off? I said, well, can you not just get the crane and do it? And then he actually showed me that he couldn't pick up the insulation with the crane because it crushes it. So why, why did he do that? So obviously he's dented the sides and crushed it in. He could have just said, look, I can't do it with the crane because it's going to dent it. We'll just handball it off. It won't take long. Obviously he didn't do that and it ended up messing up. So we just shoved that in there just to improve a little bit of U value. Sure, it won't really do much anyway. We're taping up. We'll whack the top up now. So for a little update, we've done loads, but not much. I'm coining that phrase now. <laughs> <laughs> we've worked out the top bits here and uh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's so close, so close. There's that little gap just up there. Can you see that? So I'm going to cut them now and put it in. I've already got two from when I was cutting the top bits before. Just little slivers basically on an angle. If I would have known, I probably would have calculated so and dropped these collar tires, just that 20 mil or so. We're going around, we're taping. We're yeah. using loads of pens, color coded, black for rafters, red for collar tires, blue for electrics. And here's Tony loving life. Just why I wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the dream. See, <laughs> so yeah, taping this stuff, it's very, what would you say, monotonous? Tedious. Tedious. Soul destroying. Spirit crushing. Yeah. So we're just going to carry on. 
Tony's going behind me. I've cut out these properly around there, like splays. And then uh, he's taping behind me. I'm getting loads of dust in me. I'll chop them out. We've really, I've, I've taped that top bit to the other bit. Just, we're trying to seal that bit up there because we're having socket holes and the same down there just to get more air tightness. Yeah, fun times, fun times. So hopefully in the next hour, we'll get these next bits done and then we can start plaster building. We've admitted defeat. I say defeat because we was gonna try and get this plasterboard on here. So with two of us, we might be able to manage it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might try and do it by myself. I need to obviously come up with some kind of contraption or something, but we've just whacked these in, just got them up. And there's just a few screws with washers. And the reason why there's just a few screws with washers it's because I got the wrong bloody screws, didn't I? I've got a massive box, a thousand of the wrong bloody size. These are 50 mil. So that only gives me a 15 mil grab and you're supposed to have a 20 feel, 25 mil grab in the wood. So I need 60 mil. I don't know whether I was, I was, I'm not quite sure why I ordered 50 mil. Obviously I need 60 mil. I'll just give you a quick tip before we go. I showed Tony this earlier because he was, Yeah, he was, he, was, he was getting annoyed with himself. So, if you're doing this silver foil, if you get, get a reasonable length like this, and then you wanna peel it back like this. Yeah. And if you wanna get it straight, you take it all the way off, get it all the way to the end, get it on your chest like this, and just roll it down and stick it on your fingers like that. Then you've got a thing and you can stick it on. If you're not careful, it all wraps up or you just can't get it in line properly. Where can we put this? So I'm gonna leave it there. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, hit the bell notification. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.